Aquarius, what's up? Welcome to your reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It is a general reading. This may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, check out your other placements, okay? If you do need a personal reading, like I said, um, if I didn't say it actually, the details will be down in the description box below. Yeah, this is the one. Seven of Wands. And what is the likely outcome? Four of Swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Nice. Alright, Aquarius. So right now, what I feel, Aquarius, is that um, you're relaxing right now. You know? You're just taking a trouble, just um, very relaxed, not really bothered about what's really going on, okay? With the Empress here, this is the card of someone, you know, who's just letting things go, letting things be. If it's meant to be, it's meant to be kind of energy, okay? It's like you're in that feminine energy. It doesn't have to be, uh, it does not matter whether you're a boy or a girl. It's just that energy where you're in that feminine energy right now, okay? Could be you, could be them. But someone out here is feeling very relaxed, like knowing things will work out, you know? You're not chasing... In fact, you're attracting, okay? You're using LOA, law of attraction, you know, you're embracing your inner power to get your wishes is what I'm getting, okay? You're just letting things be without worrying, without questioning, or without being stressed, you know? For many of you, I feel there's no physical effort that's being put by you in this connection. You just believe in your prayers and the divine. Yeah, but definitely I see that you know your self-worth. You're well aware of your own worth and you will not settle for anything less okay and when you act as though you're worth it other people will treat you as though you are okay so yeah let's see what happened in the past is the king of wands here so there was a lot of passion here in the past between you guys a lot of chemistry a lot of passion here okay i feel there was one person here who was very attracted to you okay and the other person out here was uh, someone who was non-committal could be okay or someone who's just not putting in the work because we have a true pair situation with the father of wands and the mother of wands. That's the king and queen of wands here. So yes, this is the true pair situation where you're both very, very attracted to each other, okay? But in the current situation here, I feel right now that uh, Aquarius, you pull back your energies, okay? You're not really contributing too much to this person right now. You're doing you. You're doing what you're passionate about. You're doing what makes you happy. I feel like you are quite fed up. Okay, and you're not putting in any of your, uh, you've lost that drive, that motivation to pursue this person anymore. Because you were the one who was doing all the work in the past year and this person could be someone, you know, who just had the passion, but they were very laid back. Okay, and uh, with the high priestess here, I think there's something going on uh, with the high priestess here. The high priestess is someone, you know, who keeps things to themselves, okay. This person is not talking to you, giving you the silent treatment, there's no communication between you guys here. But definitely, with the Knight of Swords here, this person is definitely wanting to come towards you, okay, in full speed. This person sees you as getting away and they will come in and want to communicate with you. Let's see, what's the Empress? What's the Empress? Yeah, someone needs to make a choice here, okay, with the two of swords here. Someone's at a crossroads. I think you're in this land of indecision right now, Aquarius. You need to make a choice, but I think um, you're probably even dealing with someone here who wants this with you, but they're blocking you out right now. Give me one more card. Give me one more card. The two of swords. And the three of pentacles. So clearly I see that communication is blocked, you're blocked, this is flat out ignoring someone, okay? I think you're okay on your own, you're ignoring this person here, what's this person here with the three of pentacles here? I feel that you know that you can really work with this person, You guys, if you guys get together, you guys can be like really badass together, okay? Like this is a very good partnership that you're looking at, but I feel you're not doing that because you're choosing to live in denial or choosing to just ignore the situation for right now, okay? Because probably there's no communication, there's a lack of clarity here and you literally are like, I don't know what to do. So it's like you're just sitting there not doing anything about the situation. But with three of pentacles here, there's a huge potential that you guys can come together and work on this, okay? And build from scratch. What's the king of wands here in the past? The world, yeah. Something came to an end here with a fire sign here. You, you shut a cycle or this person shut a cycle, okay? But you closed a chapter with this person here. Can you tell me more about the world? What's the world? The 
the six of wands and you move forward yeah you move forward here because you could be wanting something stable something committed and you were dealing with someone who is a player is what i'm getting you know i'm sorry i'm just taking a little time to get used to these cards here it's a little different you know but yeah uh, so in the past we had the king of wands the world and the six of wands here so i feel that you shut a chapter okay you reached a point of um um like successful completion with this person it's like you felt like you know things were just going nowhere because you're dealing with the king of wands and that's the kind of person you shut a chapter with or you close the cycle with and you move forward with the six of wands here maybe you wanted public recognition or maybe you wanted this person to take you seriously or wanting marriage or commitment with this person but this person with the king of wands is someone who looks like to me who's very wishy-washy uh someone uh highly non-committal and someone very flaky okay and that's something that you didn't want because at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of pentacles and this is something you want and you want stability and this person was someone who was wanting to take offer you only passion and nothing more and uh, you could have go gone a lot of back and forth with this person and you chose to shut the cycle with them and you move forward from this person but in a very positive way like you know what if it's not working out that's fine i'm just gonna go ahead because with the world here there was history that you had with this person okay so something was not working out for a very long time see that's why with the two of swords and three of pentacles here there is this huge potential that you know that you guys can work things out or you know you guys can be on the same page and work towards something very beautiful very stable but you're choosing not to make a decision because you're just living in your head and just doing you with empress you know what's the mother of wands in the current situation whoa the tower give me one more card for the tower why is the mother of wands on the tower here for the current situation for aquarius ace of pentacles whatever happened between you guys right you're not gonna believe it was a blessing in disguise okay if you guys are on a break with each other if you guys aren't talking if you guys have had a breakup separation divorce whatever divorce i'm not seeing so much right but there has been some kind of fallout between you guys this fallout is going to bring a successful new beginning a successful new uh practical beginning between you guys okay so whatever happened happened for the best something crashed something crumbled which is built on a very faulty foundation or which was built on a crooked foundation okay and this is all because of the queen of wands here i feel that you're doing you you're taking care of yourself you're very confident you're very sexy and um i don't know why i said that that was so funny but uh you're just um very focused on yourself okay you've withdrawn your energies from this person and you're choosing to you know just uh focus on your probably your goals your money whatever it is right but whatever has happened between you guys it is bringing in a, a brand new beginning between you both okay i'm really sorry if i'm going a little slow but i'm just taking a little time i, I i'm sorry i just keep saying that but i'm feeling very guilty i'm not really that slow i mean the ones who know me know that i am like <laughs> not really so slow but okay okay tell me about the high priestess why is this person well, why is the high priestess on this person's mind there's a lot going on in this person's mind that they're not telling you okay i think this person could even be waiting for the right time here let's see what's the high priestess what's the high priestess the sun yeah this person is thinking of wanting happiness with you they're thinking of wanting that they're going through a lot of uh clarity okay they see you as their happily ever after they see you as someone who they want everything with they're looking at growth and expansion right now but with the high priestess here i feel that this person knows a lot they know exactly what's happening in the situation but they're choosing to keep quiet because they feel it's not the right time to talk i feel that this person is literally trying to figure shit out they're fully connected to the universe right now okay and their their intuition is on point they feel deep for you okay but they're not revealing their feelings right now okay they're not they're revealing their feelings this person is very confident okay and very powerful for sure this person chooses to reveal what they want to reveal okay they won't open up till then they won't open up if they don't feel very confident or something like that but right now uh there's a lot of things that are known to this person and felt but they're not saying it i would assign here this person knows what what you mean to them give me one more card for the high priestess of the sun give me one more card for the high priestess of the sun 
Father of Pentacles, see, King of Pentacles. This person is someone who is finally seeking commitment, something that you were seeking in the past. Now you're blocking this person off. That's a different thing, okay? Because with Empress, you realize the growth, uh, the growth. You realize your value. You realize you deserve better, okay? And that's why you let this person go. But that's what I said, right? With the tower here, whatever happened between you guys, if it hasn't happened, if it happens, let it happen, okay? The easier you are with the tower movement, okay? The easy, I mean, it, the tower is something that comes in as a shock, right? It's like a very abrupt change and abrupt movement okay where you weren't expecting it at all it just comes out of nowhere cat is your card whatever this is i think for many of you this hasn't happened if it hasn't happened it's coming in but it's going to bring in a lot of stability security uh it's going to be a golden opportunity for you that's going to come in only if this tower moment happens so if any of you are resisting this breakup the separation of the star moment do not okay do not with the king of pentacles here this person what's on their mind is that this person is trusting their intuition and with the sun here, this person, I feel this person is in pursuit of happiness. What they want is happiness, what they want is you, okay? This person has some kind of realization here, okay? That's what the sun does, right? The sun throws light on things that uh, are hidden in the dark here. I feel this person was someone who was lacking, uh, lacking optimism in the past, okay? And because they were lacking optimism, they weren't being able to give you the clarity, okay? And this was someone here who was feeling very... Uh, and they were not focusing on what truly makes them happy. Finally, this person, like I said, right, their main goal is happiness and you equal to happiness. Clarity, okay? So this person, you know, is someone here who sees a lot of potential in this relationship with you. But with the high priestess here, I feel this person just feels the need to hold back right now and not open up. But with the king of pentacles here, this person definitely has commitment on their mind, long term, stability, security, marriage, okay, whatever this is. The one who was not ready to offer something so stable in the past year is now going to be ready to offer because that's what's on their mind. They view you as the king of swords here. So of course, right? If someone pisses you off, you're definitely going to be the king of swords here. You're being cold detached you're being very um very icy towards them okay and uh it's more like i mean look how scary the owl looks out here <laughs> it's like that's damn scary i mean they're pretty intimidated so they'd rather shut their mouth till they don't have something stable to offer you because they know you cut them off they see you standing in your power you're very straightforward very honest about what you want it's like i get what i want and if i don't you're out it's like, I get the clarity for what the situation is, whether you give me a closure or not. I see things for what it is. I'm done. Bye-bye. Like that, you know. Okay, tell me more about how this person views Aquarius. Tell me more about how this person views Aquarius. With the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, they see you doing you. And the Two of Cups. Yeah. So they see you as someone they have a very very strong connection with okay that's a soulmate connection guys you can't deny this this is a soulmate connection they see you as the one for them i told you right that's what they keep seeing but with the eight of pentacles here yeah, i feel this person sees you as someone very focused on yourself doing you probably they could even see you as someone who's trying to put up a facade trying to wear a false mask and just cutting them out being cold towards them and burying yourself into work okay but with the eight of pentacles here whether you're burying yourself into work to try and distract yourself or whether you really are focused on, on yourself it's a good thing both ways right you're doing you taking care of yourself that's what the empress energy here okay yeah but they feel a very strong connection and with the two of cups here not only are they in love with you you're in love with them too okay and they know that they know that wheel of fortune is what they feel deep down so deep down they're waiting for change they're waiting for something to for the wheel to turn in their favor what's the wheel of fortune here give me two more cards for how they feel deep down with the eight of cups and the judgment Sorry, seven of cups. Shit, see, I said that. I'm so sorry. 
seven of cups yeah so this person here is waiting for change they're waiting for a positive change to come in okay and with the judgment here this person definitely wants to reconcile okay i feel this person and you have gone through a cycle okay you want commitment from them they won't give it to you you keep asking for a commitment over and over again they keep coming back to you you guys start and you know you guys start a cycle again end a cycle because commitment is a big issue between you guys okay this person keeps coming back to you you know and you keep asking them for a commitment so yeah once again they're back with a judgment here okay they want to reconcile they want a resurrection okay and yes this is someone being very assertive out here but with the seven of cups here i feel i don't see this as someone who's keeping their options open i see this as someone who dreams a lot about you okay this is a lot of wishful thinking here this is one of the biggest reasons why i don't like the seven of cups you know it's all about yeah i want to do this with the queries i want to do that with the queries okay it's like a lot of wishful thinking and dreaming into the future rather than taking any action here in the present to make things happen get what i'm saying and that's why because they're in that energy that's why they're in the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is someone who's waiting for luck to come in their side rather than taking action and making shit happen okay that's why the king of wands in the past year definitely dealing with someone who was very passive very uh reactive you know like they'd wait for the situation to happen and then they would do something about it you know they weren't like proactive you know and you are being very proactive right now okay you make shit happen this person was very laid back because of which you had to shut a chapter with this person you know and uh, you felt very there was a sense of uh, lack of victory with this person okay and you felt like this person could be stalling your progress you know and uh, you felt the need to walk away from this person and you've moved on very confidently moved on in a way where you just were like you know what well that's just not working out for me so that's what this person's problem is deep down you know that's what they feel they really 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 would like a second chance with you an opportunity to make things right yeah but again there's a lot of confusion here okay there's still um you know still not choosing to make a decision i wouldn't say they're still not choosing you that would be if they would had options i think they're cho still not choosing to make a choice about what is the right decision for them okay because they're just not sure about what is the right approach probably okay i mean the seven of cups is also to me someone who does not want to deal with reality right and that's what they're doing seven of cups that's someone in their dream phase you know someone who doesn't have a reality check like you know what get your shit together and get the ball rolling okay they're waiting for the universe to come in and just wanting for some divine waiting for some divine intervention to come in and like okay yeah now you do this for me something like that son of swords is how they see this relationship okay so knight of swords to me is someone here this is how they want to move things forward so i feel this person is definitely wanting so you know what i think they're doing this person does not want to come towards you with a very mature approach okay a because they see you as the king of uh, king of swords which is someone very straightforward very clear on what they do and what they need etc okay they see you standing very firm in your truth okay but the energy here that is coming in towards you is more like the knight of swords of how they want to do this so this person wants to rush in okay to talk to you because they don't want you to get away but it's going to be more like an argument you get what i'm saying more like lack of emotions very hasty and quick communication okay and um, yeah they're coming in hot and heavy but minus the emotions okay minus the emotions tell me what is the son of swords here why is the knight of swords here Give me two cards for how this person wants to uh, take this connection forward with Aquarius. With the Four of Pentacles. Give me one more card. Say one more card, not the fucking pile. Give me one more card. And the Devil. <laughs> they're obsessed babe they're obsessed with you dude so the knight of swords the four of pentacles yes and um the devil they're very obsessed and addicted to you okay they feel a strong connection out here they feel very tied restricted and bound to you like they just cannot fucking let you go we have two cards here where they won't let you go four of pentacles and the devil here this person has a hard time letting you go they won't let you go no matter what happens okay and with the knight of swords here expect communication okay 
um, at least this person, you know, it's like, you know what, they're not being very expressive because I don't see any cups here, okay? They don't see the emotion, I don't see emotions here from their side. But yes, they don't feel the connection, they know you love them, they love you, okay? But their approach towards you is going to be more like logic-based, more cold and detached because that's the way you view, they view you, okay? So they feel emotions are not going to work with you, they're going to have to give you the harsh reality or they're just going to have to come towards you and... Uh, tell you everything okay because all this while they were just you know being very dishonest and not telling you what they really feel yeah this person has a lot to say to you but they weren't saying it all this while they were holding back communication they were on defense mode but yes the knight of swords is also a little defensive but it's like you know what it's like an attack mode you know so yeah brace for impact they're gonna come in all of a sudden is what i'm getting here this is their arrival here but um with the magician at the bottom of the deck, I feel this person is someone who feels they can make shit happen with you, okay? Like they can do things, like they can get you back like this, you know? Like they can do whatever they want. They can come into your life when they want, they can leave what they want, okay? So it's a little manipulative, but it's super confident energy here. Well, of course, probably with the two of cups, they know how much you love them, so that they're not in denial of any situation. But yeah, you're attracting them back because with the Empress here, you, I mean, indirectly, whether you're practicing LOA or you're not, this is what you're doing. You're attracting them back. So yeah, they're stuck on you. They're coming back and um, they're toxic as fuck. True. But they're not letting you go. Hierophant is what's going on behind the scenes that you don't see coming. What's the Hierophant? So maybe this person wants to commit to you now or they're changing their views about what they think. That two cards? Two, two cards. With the six of swords. Yeah, six of swords and the nine of pentacles. Yeah, this is a sword, right? Yeah, that was a wand. Okay. So, with the Hierophant, the Six of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles, right? This person's moving towards you, okay? No, I'm getting two scenarios here. Take it how it resonates. With the Hierophant here, okay, what I'm getting here is, one story I'm getting here that you probably are wanting to move away, okay, because you have been very committed to this person all this while, you thought this was your person, okay, and you felt very, it's a spiritual connection, right, this is a connection that's very hard to break, so you can't really break it, but somehow, somehow, instead of breaking this connection, I feel you're trying to move away, okay, you're trying to move on, this movement from your side, but I think you're physically and mentally trying to distance yourself from this person and moving into a more calmer energy, like the nine of pentacles here, okay. The Nine of Pentacles to me looks like someone here with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel here that this is what you're doing. You are trying to move towards something more calmer and you're very, very focused on yourself is what I'm getting. This person is coming towards you while you are going somewhere else. It's like you're good where you are. You've had a hard time trying to get over this person. You're throwing yourself into work, taking care of yourself, being single, and about focused on your finances, your mental security, your overall independence, rather than wanting to make this relationship work out in the current scenario, given the current scenario, okay? You're not making this connection a priority because you know your worth, you got your shit together, you got your money together, and you don't need nobody, all right? But you're definitely wanting to be single, and that's what you're moving towards. You're moving away from the commitment. You're moving away from the spiritual connection. You feel it for sure. You feel it for sure, yes? But somehow, somehow, I think it's been a high time. It's been a long time. You feel the need. You could have been stuck in this energy for a very long time, okay? Where I don't want to move on from this person. This is my person. I feel this connection. I don't know why, okay? But something's, you know, there's something that's going on between us that this person doesn't see or I don't see, okay? You felt that um, strong bond with this person here. Uh, the Hierophant is also where someone could feel uh, that you you both are spiritually married, okay? Married in the 5D level, all right? But uh, it's just that, you know what? It's like a forced departure from your side. Like, I just gotta move on because it's just not working out. And with the Empress here, it feels like, well, if it's gotta happen, it's gotta happen, okay? I got no time to put in any more energy into this. And I feel this is what's going on behind the scenes. You're moving away from this person, okay? Although you feel it, you don't want to, but that's what's just happening. And that is something that this person isn't aware of. Okay. What's um, the second scenario? Yes, but 
there's not much of a second scenario here probably it's just that this person's coming towards you but i don't think you're going to entertain this person anymore because you're in a very comfortable place right now okay you realize that uh you need to focus on yourself and your money and uh whatever your investments or whatever it is rather than focusing on this person because you've given it all your all on this while okay you're investing in yourself and you're just doing you okay you're okay where you are basically you know it's like it's you you had a hard time putting the, the past into the past you know seven of seven of wands this is your advice here so your advice is to be guarded stay defensive seven of wands what's the seven of wands it's almost telling me the seven of wands with the seven of, it's telling me to stand by your power or stand by what you think is right okay stand by the truth you don't have to bend backwards or bend over backwards because of someone who's just coming towards you and like oh you know what now i realize you're the one for me no if you're good where you are you're good okay take time that's fine don't rush in give me two more cards for the advice for aquarius from tarot give me two more advice cards for aquarius please apart from seven of wands give me two more address cards queen of swords and the nine of wands yeah babe it's asking you to go in stealth mode right now <laughs> Just be very deceptive about what you feel, okay? Right now is not really the right time to be straightforward and honest about your feelings when this person comes in. The Seven of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Wands. Have your cards up. Have your cards up. It's not asking you to completely give up on this person here, but with the Queen of Swords here, for sure, it's asking you to wear a mask. No matter how much emotions you have for this person, just keep it to yourself, okay? Just be very cold, very logical and practical right now, okay? Just don't let the other person know how deeply you feel for them right now. Just use your mental power. Use your manifestation. Because right now you need to be emotionally closed off. Okay, you need to cut this person off and don't tolerate any bullshit or nonsense from this person here. Nine of Wands. Just be defensive. Have your cards up. Okay, don't make it easy for this person to come back to us. It's like they come back like this and they leave like this. Okay, don't let them repeat another cycle with you. Okay, because with the magician that I saw at the bottom of the deck here. This is someone here who feels they can just do whatever they want. Okay, they can go waltz back into your life and then just fuck it up and leave again. And look at the devil here, right? So there is this level of toxicity that this person is still bringing back to the table. So babe, you gotta be very, very careful. Okay, very careful out here. And this is your advice here. Just stay in your power, okay? Think logically. Even if it has to just, you need to, um, how can I say this, disconnect or just... Uh, emotionally disconnect from yourself, yourself from this person, do it, do it. But it's definitely not asking me to tell you to uh, fight for this or just give in to this person easily. It's just asking you to do what you gotta do. And I think it's asking you to do what you're already doing because that's what's going on behind the scenes. Just, just don't be very honest, okay? When this person comes in, think twice, okay? And be very logical about your move towards this person. Don't just get driven away in emotions, okay? Because you're dealing with someone who has a tendency to run back to you, you know? It's a very on and off connection, yeah? But don't reveal your feelings yet. Let it get to a stable point, okay? Because this person probably, once this person knows that, yeah, you're in for this already, like, oh, that was like an easy uh, walk-in, right? No, I did this once, I can do it again, you know? Like, that worked, I got away with that. So don't let that happen, okay? Try and be as deceptive as you can. Not in a bad way, but in a way where you can save yourself so that you don't have to go through shit again with this person. Four of Swords is the outcome here. So I think you're taking a step back. Okay. When this person comes in, tell me more about the Four of Swords is the likely outcome. Give me two more thoughts for the likely outcome between Aqu for Aquarius along with the Four of Swords. With the Eight of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. Yeah. They're coming in. They're coming in, for sure. But what's gonna happen here is... That way they come in to talk to you with the Knight of Swords here, right? And this is going to be some communication which is going to open up, you know, a lot of... It's going to give you clarity for sure. Because the Knight of Swords is blunt, truthful communication, right? Whatever they say, they say, right? Knight of Swords is also someone here who's like, you know what? No, I want you, you're mine. You know, you got to be with me. You know, something like that. And that's just going to put you in a spot where you're like, well, I don't know about that. 
I think you're just going to detach and uh, it's more like, you know, I'm getting that you're just healing right now, okay, from this breakup. You're taking your, you're, you're going to hold back, you're going to think about this, but you're not going to jump to a conclusion here because to a pentacles, you're going back and forth with the decision. You're not going to be sure about what you want with this person anymore. Because this person is just keeping you stuck all the more with the eight of swords here. Instead of uh, making things better, I think this person gets you even more confused with the eight of swords, okay? This person, I mean, um, they put you in a situation where you're just feeling mentally trapped and blocked, okay? But remember, the eight of swords, this is the jailhouse of the mind, okay? You keep yourself trapped with your own negative thinking or because you're paralyzed by fear. You know, no one's doing this to you. So when this person comes in, I feel you're just going to think about it, right? But it's going to create a lot of confusion. It's going to create a lot of, um, how can I say this, overthinking, overanalyzing when this person comes in, yeah? And um, I just think this person, you're just going to go back and forth with the decision. You're still not going to give them an answer when this person comes in, okay? Because you're going to be two months. This person could have literally put you through hell, okay, in the past because of which you're just not sure. Because now you're in such a good place, okay? You're in a much better place. And now it's like, what do I really want to fuck all this up? Because this person all of a sudden one day realizes that they want me and now they're coming back. You've already shut the chapter in the past. Okay? So think about it. They're coming back for sure. I hope this reading resonates with you. I'm sorry for the delays. And uh, do like, share, subscribe. Leave your comments below and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. I'll 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 see you next time. Bye-bye.